I'm showing you state's evidence seven. Do you recognize who's in this picture? This me. And is this you before you were shot? Yes, ma'am. Which we'll talk about in just a moment. Do you have a 
Do you recognize the person that's in state's evidence eight? Yes, ma'am. And who is that? My sister, Ashley Rucker. Now, in the course of being the younger sister of Ashley Rucker, did you also have to help identify her with the medical examiner's office? Yes, ma'am. And were you shown a single photograph? Yes, ma'am. I'm showing you state's evidence Two for the record. No, nine, I apologize for the record. That's my sister. And is this the photograph that you had to identify your sister with the medical examiner's office? Yes, ma'am. And permission to publish on? Yes. Joseph. And was Colton with you? Colton was with me, yes. And were 
were you close to being intoxicated? No. If you drank anything, would you have had any ability to affect your memory or your thought process? No, ma'am. What about your sister? Did she drink at all? No. Now, how many bedrooms did your condominium have? Three. Do you know how many baths? Two. And you're on permission to approach? Yes. Did you all have furniture? Yes. What type of furniture did you all have? Um, 
we had a couch, a love seat, and a big oversized chair. Um, the chair was back here by the glass <coughs> door. There was a, a couch here, and a, a couch here, and a love seat here. Now we've said a lot here, so it's going to be difficult for the record. So, did you also have a fireplace? Yes. Now, was the chair located by the fireplace? Yes. Now, could you please do a line and put chair? Just keep that pen for just a moment, please, ma'am. Now, you indicated that there was a love seat. Could you please draw a line and put love seat where that was located? Now, you have indicated that the love seat, with its front or back, been towards your master door. The back is this way, and then the sofa is here, and then the back of the sofa faced the kitchen. Okay. Now, were, was there also, where it says counter, was that a bar? Yes. Okay. We just indicate bar, please, ma'am. By where it's also stated counter. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You can ask. Did you call 
minutes left. All right, go ahead.
to the edge of the hallway um, from the living room and told me to stop the fight because Chad had a gun. Did you tell Lao that? Yes. And did Lao stop fighting Chad? Yes. And now you stated that your sister was in the living room or area. Was that mainly where she was at after she left her bedroom? Yes. And where was Joseph and Colton during this time frame? They were in my bedroom. And did you, in fact, tell them to stay there? Yes. Now, earlier you had said Colton was asleep. Did he wake up from all the noise? Um, I assume so. I assume that um, Joseph might have woken him up. Okay. But you're not for sure. I'm, I'm not sure. But Colton didn't leave your bedroom. No. Okay. And where are you at? Are you... Are you in between the bedroom, the hallway, and the living room? Um, yeah, I'm kind of walking back and forth talking to Ashley and Lyle. Um, once I told Lyle that, the, that Chad had a gun, um, Lyle went downstairs. Um, I went after him to make sure that he was okay. And he told me to go back and check on my sister. I went back upstairs, and that's when I saw Chad walking in the circle around the condo, basically. I, I thought he was pacing because he had just been in a fight, you know, blowing off steam. That's what I thought. And what did you decide to do? Um, I thought that the police were coming, and they would be there in a minute. Um, the boys would eventually need to come out of my bedroom. So I grabbed some cleaning stuff from underneath the kitchen cabinet and started cleaning the blood off the floor. So that way the boys didn't come out and see blood all over our condo. And was your sister also helping with the cleaning? Yes, ma'am. She helped. Uh, we separated the linen closet, what had blood on it, what didn't have blood on it. Now, what areas were you cleaning blood? Um, I started in my sister's bedroom right at her doorway, and I backed out um, on my hands and knees, backwards, out towards the bar area. Now, you said you were on your hands and knees. Um, in what direction were you going in that hallway that we've indicated on the state's evidence?
when the defendant says to you, so that is how it's going to be, Lisa? Something like that, correct? Yes, ma'am. Was the defendant pointing his gun at you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And is that where you were telling the jury that you didn't believe he'd shoot you? Yeah. I, I, I didn't think he was really going to shoot me. I, I thought he was trying to scare me. Um, okay, but tell us what happened then. So I, he pointed the gun at me. I didn't think he was really going to shoot me, so I turned my head down. And as soon as I went to go turn, uh, everything went black. My, arse, my ears started ringing. Um, all I could hear was the ringing. I couldn't see anything. Um, I was in and out of consciousness. No, no he's alive. About, uh, why? He really did shoot. Um, he no, no, shot no. me and then he shot my sister. No, no, no. Ms. Rucker, I'm showing you state's evidence 15. Do you recognize it? Yes, ma'am. How do you recognize it? Um, it was a napkin that was on the bar area of my condo when the detective came to speak to me. And did you draw out the locations of where you were, defendant, and your sister at the time of the shooting? Yes, ma'am. And do you recognize it because it is, in fact, you drew it and it's your handwriting? Permission to publish, Your Honor? Yes. I'm showing you now the diagram that you drew for Detective Vinash. Is that accurate? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so we see a B at the top. What is the B to indicate? The balcony. Okay. And that's right here, B for balcony? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, we also see an M. I've circled it for the record. What are you indicating there? Um, that's the master bedroom door. Okay. Next, I see a circle with a T on the circle as well. Who are, what are you indicating here? Um, that's where I last saw Chad T. Okay. 
And then we see an A. Who are you indicating there? My sister, Ashley. And then we see an L. And I'm going to give you a second. It's a little off from my view and y'all's view. I apologize for that. And who is that? That's me. Okay. Now, we also see an arrow. Can you indicate what you were describing in the arrow? So, the last time I saw my sister before I was shot um, is where the A is. Um, when I was in and out of consciousness, when I came to uh, multiple times, I saw her body laying uh, up against the master bedroom, basically the wall next to my door. And is that how you knew that your sister was shot as well? Yes, ma'am. However, did you know whether or not she was alive? I did not. I thought she was in and out of consciousness like me. Did you make that assumption? I did. Okay. Now, we see two lines parallel to the F. What were you indicating there? That's the hallway. And I'm just going to circle it and try to get it to even up here between the two screens. Is that the hallway that you would lead to your sister's bedroom? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And is that where your face is looking down? Yes, ma'am. Exposing the left side of your face to the defendant and the end of that barrel? Yes, ma'am. Now, the line that would be underneath the L, what are you indicating there? That's the bar. Now, the line that would be to the left of your L, underneath the A, what are you indicating there? That's the couch. And then the other line that is between the A and the T, what are you indicating there? The love seat. Then above that, the line underneath, well, I guess two lines underneath the B for the balcony, what are you indicating? Um, the one line underneath the B was just the sliding glass door, and then the smaller one was the chair. Okay. And have I correctly circled that for the record, that would be the chair? Yes, sir. Now, in, the, in looking at the area, and again, I'll, I'll try to line this up between my screen and everyone else's screen. Is that almost like a little walkway, a little hallway, um, now designated within your living room and your dining room? Yes, ma'am. And is that how you all would walk um, in the living room towards your bedroom in the balcony? Yes, ma'am. So did the defendant have a direct view with no, nothing constructing it of you when the time you shot you? Yes, ma'am.